All right, quick video here. Uh, got this solar panel. It's a 260 watt uh, unit, monocrystalline panels. And uh, I got it for a really good deal. Shouts out to Astral Power Solutions for hooking me up with this. It's a LDK, yeah, 260 watt monocrystalline panel and uh, 60 cell. I got a good deal because uh, one of the wires had been ripped off and so it wasn't fit for commercial installation but I uh, told the guy there about my plans with it and uh, he seemed really enthusiastic so he gave me a really good deal on it. I won't say just exactly how much but it was a stupid good deal and it's a really nice panel too so it feels almost bad to do what I'm about to do with it but basically uh, I'm gonna cut it up into smaller panels. I'm looking to get an 8 series configuration which right here you see there's a I can get if I go down here, there's a bus bar right here, so basically take these eight out of the corner here and that'll get me my eight series configuration. So and basically how this is constructed, it's a glass panel with the uh, monocrystalline cells encased in what is essentially hot glue. It's a, uh, what is it, EVA plastic, which is what hot glue is made out of. And I've already at the back, did some experimenting and basically the back layer is just this thin white plastic that with a heat gun and a razor you can just peel right off and then that gives you access to the uh, to the uh, tabs underneath so basically I've got myself uh, one of these things it's this Milwaukee cutoff tool with a diamond blade and I got a hose so I can keep it a wet cut and I'm gonna see how well I can cut through the glass here I'm gonna start just over here and see how well that goes. I do have some experience uh, cutting glass with a diamond blade. Uh, so hopefully that lends itself to this, although this is a bit of a unique situation. Never really cut a big pane like this. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. Now I can't film while doing this, so I'm gonna stop the video and uh, I'll show you the results of the first cut. Well, that could have gone better. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Uh, yeah, the whole fucking panel shattered almost as soon as I started. Basically, I, uh, I started making the cut and I noticed it was sparking because the water actually from the hose wasn't actually getting to it. And so I, uh, bumped, I took the thing away, bumped up the flow, and as soon as the water touched that, bam. So, uh... Yeah, shit. Well, uh, I guess now that that's already gone, what I'll have to do now is uh, do away with the glass entirely. Uh, the cells should still be fine because they're encapsulated in that uh, that rubber shit. So, um, yeah, fuck, that was explosive. All right, well, I'll. Uh, let you know what happens coming down. All right, uh, it's an hour or two later and uh, things have changed. Uh, at this point, I think I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say that I've basically destroyed the whole panel. Uh, not not fully destroyed, but basically I've it's it's now unusable. Basically, in trying to remove a section. Uh, Basically, that tempered glass front is the entire structural integrity of the whole panel. And any attempts to maneuver it and do stuff with it afterwards, I'm not sure if you can see, but basically the it becomes so flexible and brittle that just any maneuvering, any attempts to cut at the glass or anything, uh, the cells just shatter and there's just a ton of tiny fractures you might be able to see there. Not sure how well it can show up on camera, but yeah. Anyway, so the entire panel, unfortunately I'm gonna have to say is scrap, but uh, I will say I learned a few things. One, uh, just don't attempt to cut the tempered glass. Uh, I looked into that after the fact, and yeah, tempered glass just is not designed to ever be cut. Uh, it's designed to shatter as soon as any kind of ding or nick or anything happens to it but it is strong if none of that happens uh, second of all um, 
you can actually, instead of trying to disassemble the panel, just peel away at the back. The, uh, this thin plastic, just score at it with a razor. Uh, it doesn't hurt the front. And you can get right at the tabs, which, like this stuff does melt with temperature. So you can just kind of dig away at it and melt it and get right at the tabs. So if you want to reconfigure a solar panel, that's a valid option. But as far as trying to remove individual cells or packs of cells and try to disassemble a solar panel, I'd say if it has a tempered glass front, unless it was like cheaply made and meant to like almost falls apart, I'd say that it's just not a valid way to do it. Uh, just go on eBay, get individual cells, and do it that way. Salvaging from a solar panel is just not the way to go. Uh, so right now I've got it wrapped up in a tarp I was working on. As soon as uh, it shattered like that, I put it on the tarp and started working And So luckily I've been able to contain most of the mess. I'm shot backing up whatever I missed. Uh, I'm going to give everything a hose down too, get all the dust out of here. But yeah, that's unfortunate, but hey, at least uh, now that I've learned it and I've documented it, uh, I can share this with others and hopefully uh, no one else have to, has to try and sacrifice a panel to do this. So uh, yeah, unfortunate, but uh, that's where we stand. I'll, uh, I'll probably look into getting, well, I've already ordered on eBay some individual cells. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, do that. Maybe I'll get a panel and do what I said where I just reconfigure it by uh, cutting the, uh, the, the tabs and stuff. But yeah, it was a really nice panel. I was looking forward to being able to do this, but unfortunately it just looks like this is not the way to do it. Anyway, so that's the end. Bye.